That was a pathetic excuse of a game. And a pathetic excuse of a series so far for the Toronto Blue Jays against Texas Rangers. Um, yeah, again today or yesterday, uh, Toronto lost 10 nothing. Um, and it, it was, it was, it was laughable. It was so bad. Um, yeah. Uh, not many words to say. You lose 10 nothing. Not a single runner got to second base. And yeah, Toronto, we need to win tomorrow. Um, game four. To stay half a game back and then we'll see what we can do to finish off the season. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm in Korea right now, in Ilsan. So it's completely different uh, timeline. And yeah, my mouth still hurts, so excuse the pronunciation. But yeah, Jays lost 10 0. Um, in game two, they lost 6 3. Game one, I believe, yeah, they lost 10 4 the first game. Or was it 6 3, 10 4? Then 10 0. But regardless, we've been outscored badly. And who's at fault? Why did we lose? Well, our starting pitching hasn't been great, but I don't blame them. All season long, we were like number one, one of the best starting pitchers. Our pitching and defense has been fantastic this season, but it can only bail you out for so long. Hitting has to get going. And the focal point is Bo Bichette and Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Now, I love Vladdy. Vladdy's my boy, or I thought he was, but right now he can't hit, hit third. John Schneider, he shouldn't be here. I've said this so many times, but you gotta bring him down. I think you gotta bring Bo down as well. I think both of them have to be lower in the order. I'm sure Bo's gonna hit again. He hit a couple balls hard the last couple days. But Vlad, I know you got a hit today. It was an infield hit. It was so bad. Like everything else, he was 0 for 10. They were 0 for 10 combined after the first two games, Bo and Vladdy. They are supposed to be the franchise players for us. Right now, who's carrying us? Kevin Biggio, Davis, Sh Babe Schneider, um, Ernie Clement, um, uh, Santiago Espinal. Those are the guys that are carrying us. Guys that are in AAA. Guys that, you know, oh, almost like they shouldn't be the ones carrying, but they are. And uh, yeah, it's been frustrating, but uh, we got to win tomorrow. We got to win with Gosman on the mound. He's up against a very tough customer. Um, I forgot who we were we up against. The Jays are up against, yeah, Nathan Navaldi. He has better numbers than Gosman. Not a lot of pitchers can say that, but he does. And, yeah, the Jays have to find a way to win, and preferably a lopsided win. And it all starts with moving Davis Schneider. Um, oh, yeah, Horwitz as well. He's been doing well. Horwitz, Davis Schneider. I have, a, I have the lineup that I want for tomorrow. I want Springer, Schneider, Bichette, Biggio, Guerrero, Kirk, Varsho, Clement, and Kiermaier. I put Varsho instead of Merrifield because, first of all, Merrifield ha hasn't been hitting well lately, which which sucks, but he's been good all season. So can't really blame him too much, but Varsho's a left-handed bat, and that will balance the righties-lefties. It'll be... Guerrero, then a righty, lefty, righty, lefty. So good balance there. Um, I'm sure Gosman will be fine. Um, I'm sure he'll do good. He always uh, brings, you know, uh, I want to say the usually his best. He usually brings his best, and his best is really good. Even though his not so best, his B game is unbelievable because that splitter is so effective. But yeah, Jays have to win. And then we got basically our division. Starting with the Red Sox and then I think the Yankees and the Rays. Lots of people writing us off. They've done it all season. And I want us to prove that small ball, pitching and defense wins championships. And big offense like we have for the last couple of years. 
is only for show and it's not going to be effective in the playoffs. We got to make it there first, boys. So let's do it. Go Jays, go. God bless. And greetings from Korea. Canada, I'll see you soon. And yeah, come on, Jays, please. Let's get a win.